warning. The opinions expressed on 101 with MJ may not necessarily reflect viewpoints of the Advent Sports Network staff, sports fans, highly sensitive people, overrated athletes, the perpetually mediocre, or the general public at large. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the inaugural episode of One on One with MJ. I'm your host, Michael A. Jones Jr. You can feel free to call me MJ. Just don't feel free to call me wrong unless you're ready to prove it. Now, I bet you're probably wondering, who's this dude who thinks he's never wrong? Well, let's see. First off, I don't think I'm never wrong. I just think I'm more right more often than most people. So, if you're going to argue with me, that's fine. I look forward to learning something new. Just don't come with any half-baked arguments that you got no facts to support. Second thing I'm going to tell you, stats, stats are often irrelevant to me. Some sports, they matter. A lot of times, I don't think the, the stats really matter as much as a lot of people think they do. Anyway, I do have somewhat of a background in sports, played basketball through high school, ran track in college, played various leagues after college, nothing pro, but you know, some fun stuff, basketball, football, pretty competitive, lots of former athletes, and you know, I like to think that I have a good understanding of sports. I also have 162 IQ, so I'm probably smarter than you. That being said, I'm also, you know, depending on who you ask, maybe a little crazy. I am a black man who tends to lean slightly conservative. That does not mean I'm a Republican. It just don't means I don't tend to follow all this new age liberal garbage that we like to throw out there. I do not always think that change and progress are the same thing. I think that progress is an improvement change is just something different. A lot of times we hear the term new and improved, but, or we hear in sports, bigger, faster, stronger. Bigger, faster, stronger does not mean more skilled. Um, that being said, let's talk about, for example, basketball. Basketball is a sport you can be too big, too strong to play. That doesn't make any sense. Ask Kobe, who bulked up one year, then immediately lost the weight the next year because he couldn't move the same. Look at a guy like Dwight Howard, who spends all his time in the weight room, but if you watch him move on the court, he's real stiff, real mechanical, and has no, off, no real flow to his game. Starting to see where I'm coming from? Stats, physical measurables, they're not everything. For me... The biggest factor of whether somebody's really a good player, really a great player, it's their decision making and the desire to win. You got those two things, now you're on to something. My favorite sport, no questions asked, basketball. Football, close second. I like baseball. I'm actually learning hockey. Soccer is cool. Not a big fan though. It's just never really my thing. Nothing against the sport, just not my thing. So I think we'll have some fun over the next few weeks, months, or however long we're blessed to be able to go. This should be a good time. Another thing you need to know about me, I am an unashamed Christian man. So most of my viewpoints will also it's at some point be skewed by that as well. But, you know, I'm not asking you to agree with me. I'm not asking you to say I'm the smartest guy you ever met. All I want, listen, and hear me out before you decide. But if you do, you'll probably end up agreeing with me. So, now that we've got the introductions out the way, We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back to really getting to some real one-on-one with MJ. Thanks for listening. Yeah. 
Advent Sports Network would like to congratulate Michaela Arthurs on becoming a charter member of the ASN Mentorship and Development Institute. Listen to Michaela cover sports from the perspective of a student athlete on her show, Falcon Pride, taped at Pine Forge Academy in Pennsylvania. The problem I have is, though, people have revisionist history on this thing, man. When the Cavs, the year we went 66 and 16, and we were dancing on the round, and people were taking pictures and laughing, we were blowing teams out. We were locked down defensively. It, we was, a, it, was, a, it was a party we were, every night at the Q. It, it was a party every night. Was, Dude, people, no, people, no serious on. NBA player. No serious NBA. I'm, I'm sorry, Melissa, but I'm just going to say, no serious NBA team. But, I mean, fans thought that y'all were going to win that year. Go ahead. Are you kidding me? All the experts thought we were going to win. If you no. Know, Go, go, go on Google one of these nights and Google 2000, what was that, uh, eight, eight, nine uh, Cavalier teams and see if, and see NBA predictions. That those teams were really good. And then that year when we went and got Antoine Jameson, that piece, at the time when we got him, he was averaging 20 points, like nine boards. People were like, it's over. These guys are going to run through the East and then win it all. Everyone thought they were like, it's over. Now they got these guys, it's over. It's just that we lost, and it happens. It happens. It happens to the bad boys. It happens to all these different teams where they lose. It looks like they're never going to win. And eventually, but it happened to Jordan. It took Jordan seven years, and my thing was, I felt like LeBron was so concerned about his legacy. That he but like, listen, I, I see, I see it differently. I mean, listen, I see it differently. Now, listen, I was trying to think, I'm going to win it. He would have. I was watching. The, I was watching those games from a different perspective. I was not watching really with a dog in the. The Lance J Radio Show is taped at Advent Sports Network Studios, located in beautiful Emerald City of Seattle, Washington. may not be right, but you're going to have to prove it to him. Listen to Michael A. Jones talk sports on his show, 101 with MJ, only on Advent Sports Network. <laughs> 